Hello everyone, I have a quick one for you today. This came in today from Newegg. I know we all hate Newegg, but it's okay. This is the only retailer I could get this from right now. Um, so let's pop it open real quick. Of course I have it upside down. The Intel Arc A380. I didn't think I was going to be able to get my hands on this. I don't know if we'll be able to even get anything like the A770 or anything like that. So I figured, let me jump on the chance to get the A380. It was on Newegg's site, back order. But then they sent me an email saying that they have some and they were going to send it to me. If anything, I want to get this as a piece of GPU history. Anyway, we have the ASRock Challenger ITX Intel Arc A380. Uh, this is a low-end card. This is their... 3 series. The 770 is supposed to be a higher end series, closer to like an RTX 3070 I've heard. This is probably going to be equivalent to a GTX 1650, 1660, somewhere in that range. Let's take a look at it. It's going to be a pretty basic box, uh, ITX card, so it's going to be small. Oh yeah. Not much in the way of additional stuff. There is a little booklet in here quick install guide it looks like let's pop this all back in here let's see this thing oh ho, ho, ho. Ah, it's a little wider than i thought it would be on the cooler part of it or the fan shroud i should say what do we got here hdmi dp 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 so three display port uh, it does take an 8-pin. That's surprising. I didn't think that this card would pull enough to justify that, but uh, I'll show some specs on the screen here of what this is, you know, rated for, TDP and, and whatnot. Um, yeah, single fan. Real short. What's the dimensions on this? Let's see. We have 7 inches, so that's definitely an ITX size. Uh, our height with everything involved, 5 inches. Uh, two slots. Ends up being, was that an inch and a half roughly? And the thickness is actually like an inch and maybe three eighths. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely a small card. 14.5 ounces or 412 grams. Pretty light. Let's throw this into the uh, B550 rig. I'm not going to be doing a full benchmark, but I'll just do a couple quick tests and we can see how this thing is going to perform, roughly. EVGA 3060 cometh out in an AMD system. It's weird. I'm putting Intel graphics on an AMD system. There it is. So since uh, you just saw that it didn't work on my B550 with the 4600G, I did a little bit of reading and it seems like there's only select 3000 series processors that'll work with the A380 and the 5000 series. Seeing as I still have the 5700G in my main rig, that is the only machine that I have in this building that will run this video card, I think. So let's test this theory out. Oh, again. Reasons why you should turn off the power supply on your machine. I'm going to get the driver installed just like with the other one. And then we'll come back and see if it's working. The driver's installed and it's actually booted up. So let's test out a couple things and see how it works. Okay, here we go. Arc A380 graphics. We have PCIe X8 4.0 at X8 3.0. Let's do a render test. It is rendering. Those are its specs. Um, resizable bar is enabled. Multi-GPU disabled. Um, let's check out the sensors. Not a lot going on in here, but we got the basics. We got our GPU temp at 69 degrees already. Wow. And the fan is going. Uh, let's see, we got 1300 RPM. And yeah, 
memory used. It's a six gig card, so we have three gigs used to just do on the desktop apparently. So anyway, let's pop into a game and test it out. Yeah, it's not gonna let us go past Ultra Nightmare. Let's see, Nightmare? No, Ultra? There we go. Okay, so now we're at 1080. We'll have to stick with Ultra settings because of the VRAM limitations. All right. So you can see the resolution scaling is already pretty much locked to 50%. And we're at about 45 FPS. Yeah, at times we can get over 50 or over 60 and then at other times it, looking out on this area we get 40 FPS. So not super great. So I'm guessing if we set uh, ray tracing on, it's going to be really bad. So let's try that out. Ah, insufficient VRAM. I don't even know if this is worth it then. Okay, we're going to have to go to high settings to get past the VRAM limitation. One eternity later. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's unplayable. 21 FPS. And honestly, I wouldn't even bother with this ray tracing on it just doesn't even make sense it's like watching this game play in slow motion jumping into forza horizon 5 here so i can see up in the top corner we're pegging out this gpu it's using everything getting just under 60 fps the graphics settings set to high so, yeah, we're not quite hitting 60, though. It, it feels pretty good, but, I mean, we're hitting maybe 50. And then if you ever do, like, an online race or anything, I'm sure that'll drop even lower. Ray tracing is set to medium, so let's turn it off and see if that helps. Not really. Didn't really change anything pretty much the same let's see if we could get 60 out of it if we go medium graphics maybe oh, a little more no but then there's dips it's kind of strange <laughs> but you know what as far as like overall smoothness and its ability to handle these things, it seems like it's working well. I mean, you want to compare this to something like the, uh, like a GTX 1650, 1660. It's not bad. At $130, this isn't, uh, you know, it's not going to break the bank. It's going to be better than what you get off of integrated graphics on any of the chips, even the Ryzen chips. Um, We'll have to see what AMD comes up with with their 7000 series, if they go with a G processor or if they're all just going to be X. You know, and once you have a processor that's supported that can run this, like I tried this on a 4600G, it didn't want to load up. But now I'm on a 5700G, a Ryzen 5000 series CPU, and now it works. So that might be an indicator that you just need this on something new. Um, so maybe it's a good pairing with a low-end... Uh, 12th gen processor for like a budget build that might be something to shoot for Just a few thoughts um, But anyway, I'm that's all I had today I just wanted to get this unboxing out of the way and kind of test the GPU a little bit I have a GTX 1650 and a GTX 1660 Ti so we'll test that out and I'm guessing it's gonna come in between those but We'll find out for sure when we run some tests. I'll do like a 10 game benchmark and maybe we'll even do some emulation too and, and see how that goes. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show you for this first look. 
If you like this content, you know, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want to see uh, some certain things tested or certain games, just let me know. I can get those put together and we can make a, make a nice video out of it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. You have a nice week. Uh, take care and God bless.